I think that there were several parts of that, of that question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was a good question. In fact, that, that was probably the most important question asked tonight. First of all, first of all, part of, part of the question seemed to imply that if all the Jews are in Israel, then of course then Jews won't get to know other Gentiles and there'll be hatred and so on and so forth which is why it was such a wonderful life for 2,000 years when the Jews were outside of Israel. Uh, it was just a tremendous pleasure because we got to know everybody and all of them killed us. <laughs> if ever there was a society in which Jews did what you seem to want, it was Germany. The German Jew lived for one thing only, to be as good a German as there ever was. And because he intermingled and intermarried and assimilated, and there was a Jewish foreign minister, Rottenau, in 1922, and because the justice minister was a Jew, it was just, a, and that's why Hitler never arose. The tragedy of a Jewish people that learns nothing from history and forgets nothing. You, want, you have this tremendous hang-up. How will they love us? I'm sick and tired of Jews who run around wanting love. I don't want love, I want respect. <laughs> but your, aunt, your question was really a good one because of the fact that what you were, were really asking, even though you don't know it, was <laughs> the question, was the question, why be Jewish at all? Because by being a Jew, you do make a difference between you and other people. And that's the question I was... Let someone ask that question, because Rabbi Axelrod, in all the time, refused to answer that question. If indeed there is the great ethical need and goal and drive and imperative is to be a human being, then indeed let us be human beings and you're a thousand percent right. Let's stop this nonsensical Jewishness and go out into the world and stop brandizing. Let's be human beings. It's a good question. I hope that Rabbi Axrod will answer it. Let me answer your question my way. There's a God, He has the truth, the truth, and He gave it to us. Now that, that doesn't make us racists. A racist is someone who says, I'm better than you and you can never be as good as I. That's blacks, whites saying that. About blacks, blacks saying that. About whites. We Jews say, yes, we have the truth. And we are a chosen people. But any non-Jew who wants to, it's open. Take it and become Jewish, and you can be as good as I am. Torah is truth, and the way to achieve a status of being holy and lofty is through Torah, and that's why the Jew has to be separate, has to be different. And if there's no Torah, then you're right, then you're right. I can understand you, and I can understand me. And both of us will have great, great trouble understanding Rabbi Axelrod. <laughs> I hope, I hope that someday they won't break, break your heart. And I say they, the non-Jews. Because just as the German Jew was shattered, the Polish Jew was never shattered. The Polish Jew always knew that the Gentile was capable of doing exactly what was happening. He, he, he lived under no illusions. The German Jew was shattered. How could this be happening? I'm a German. I'm a human being. How, how can you do this to me? And the German came and said, ah, you're a Jew. If you won't learn Torah, someday you'll learn it the hard way. So when it... Someday they'll persecute you as a Jew. At least get the benefits of it. Go to a Jewish school. Don't go to Brandon. Go to, go to a Jewish school. Go to a yeshiva. Find out 
what there is about being Jewish which is special and important, which makes you a, a Jewish and different and separate, and you can be separate and at the same time respect other people. You can be separate and you can respect other people, but know that first you're a Jewish.